Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can install Moonlight and Sunshine in Mac OS device. As you can see, I'm using Mac OS right now, so I will install Moonlight Client and Sunshine to my device right now. First of all, you go to Google, you search for Sunshine Remote, and you will go to Sunshine homepage right over here. If you want to use your Mac device as a client and you will connect to a host device, you will scroll down, you will find the client over here and to install the client for Mac OS, you will choose this option, download for GitHub. You can see the client software is Moonlight and its latest version V6.1. You will scroll down and you will see we have the Mac OS universal over here you will download this one okay after you download you will run the installation now it's very easy you just drag this moonlight app the application over here it's very quick after you complete you need to run moonlight application you will choose open over here you need to allow moonlight to find your device in local network okay you finally finish install moonlight client app if you want to use your mac OS device at the client device it's very easy you open the moonlight app over here and you find the host device that show here you choose this one you unlock it and connect to your host device it's very easy if you want to use your mac OS device as a host device you need to scroll all the way down and download the Sunshine platform to your Mac OS device. You can find the direct installation for Sunshine to your Mac OS device. You need to install to Homebrew over here. For easier for you, you can read the document. You will go to this document and in getting started, you will choose this one and you will scroll all the way down. You find the section called Mac OS. First of all, you need to install Homebrew to your Mac OS. So I will choose this one. I will open in new tab. It will navigate you to the home view installation website. So it's on home page. If you choose home page over here, we have two options. The first option is you copy this code and paste to Mac OS terminal. The second option is you install to the packet installer. You can download this packet installer right over here. You can see we have the latest version and you download the home view 4.6 package. Now you need to install Homebrew. You will run the Homebrew package. You can see here before installing Homebrew, you need to install the CLT by running this code from Mac OS Terminal. So I will copy this code and go to Mac OS Terminal to install that. I will paste this one and run the installing. I will enter the password. We have a pop-up over here and you just hit to install. Not every Mac OS device has this problem because normally it can easily download and install. But if you have this problem, you need to do like me. Go to Google and you search command like to Mac download. And you will see we have Apple developer over here. You will choose this one and you will scroll all the way down. It's not the Xcode application over here. You need to download the command line tool, the old version of Xcode. So you will choose download over here. Now you need to sign in to Apple developer. Okay, you can see here we have command line tools for Xcode 26 release. So you will details if you download this one. Now you need to run the command line tool installation file. Now you will run this package over here. Continue. Continue. And I agree. Now you choose install over here. You will enter the password. Now the command line tools will install to your Mac OS. Okay, now you finally install the command line tools for your Mac OS. And now you can close this one and you can come back to the Homebrew Insider and try to install again. Now you can install the Homebrew normally. I click continue, I agree, and I will install to my Mac OS device. I will enter my password. Okay, the Homebrew installation is finished. I will close this one. And now I will install Sunshine to my device. You will come back to this page. And to install Sunshine, you need to copy this code and go to Terminal, paste this code over here, and then hit Enter. You need to wait a couple of minutes, and then the Sunshine will automatically install to your Mac OS device. Now you can see Sunshine finally installed in my Mac OS. Now to start Sunshine, you can copy this code and you paste here. And now I will run this code. Okay, Sunshine asks the permission to record this computer screen and audio. I will open system settings. Now I will allow permission from Sunshine. Now I will use my password. Okay. 
and finish we come back to this one you see successfully start sunshine over here so now how you can go to sunshine interface we go to any kind of browser and then you will type in this link it's localhost 47990 you will type in this link and you hit enter now you see connection is in private you don't need to care about it you just click advance over here and you continue to localhost okay now you need to create a username and password for sunshine and then you need to log in to sunshine using that username and password okay you finally finished it's more complicated and hard to follow compared to it's a sunshine in windows but you still can install it so you can see this is a home page and now i will show you an example how to use client device and connect to this mac os device as a host so now I will go to my client device now. You can see my client device, Microsoft Surface running Windows 11. I already installed the Moonlight app. This is a client app for client device. So when you run Moonlight app, you will see a list of devices that are using the same network as your client device. If you can't find your device over here, you can use this option and fill in the IP address of your host device. It's very easy to find the IP address, so I think you guys can do it by yourself. Now you can see the Colin MacBook is my macOS device. We have a lock icon over here. That means you need to allow this client device to access your host device. How to do it? I will show you. You choose this one and you can see we have over here the four digit pin code. I'm back to my host device. In the Sunshine interface, you will see we have the pin option over here. You choose this option. Then you can see pin pairing over here. You need to type in the four digit pin in your client device. And now you need to type in your device name. You can put any type name you want. Okay, this column surface goes. This is my client device. I will click send. And now you can see successfully client device to continue. So now I will switch again to my client device. Okay, back in my client device, you can see the calling MacBook over here. Finally, unlock it. And it's very easy now to connect to my macOS device. You choose this option. You can see we have two options over here. The first one is a desktop and the second one is a Steam. It's very easy to complex this one in Sunshine app. So by default, I would choose desktop over here. Okay, you can see over here, this one is my Microsoft Surface. This one is my client device. And this one is my MacBook Pro. This one is my host device. And you can see I'm using Microsoft Surface. It's my window device. And I'm controlling my host device over here. And you can see everything is very smooth. It's my mouse, you can see. And when I open the app, you can see the animation of this is very, very smooth. It's very similar when I'm using a real host device. So I think the qualities and the speed and the latency of Sunshine is very good okay basically that's all the step for you to install moonlight or client and sunshine apps for host device remember you need to have the same internet connection to be able to connect from your client to your host if you want to use a different internet connection to connect to your host device for example if you have your host device at home and you need to use a client device out from your home and connect remotely to your host device. You want to use cellular internet, LTE, 4G, 5G to connect to your host device at home. How you can do it? I already made a video that showed you the solution to use different internet connection for Moonlight and Sunshine. You can check this video right over here. If my video is helpful, please give me a like and subscribe and drop a comment below if you want to ask me anything. I will see you in my next videos.